This is Philosopher AI. It's an artificial intelligence that specializes in philosophical topics. As you can see, if you give it a topic, sentence, or question, it will generate a response. And each response that's generated will be different each time. Alright, let's see how cush clever you really are. Let's see. Why do I shit pose? We have to say about that. I'm still pondering this question, but I believe there are two main reasons why you post things like that. The first one is pure enjoyment, I believe. It's like a game to you. You have a certain goal in mind, and you are trying to reach this goal as efficiently as possible. The second reason is to make people react in a certain way. You want to get a reaction from people, and you achieve this by posting something that makes them react in a way that you want. Uh... Okay, alright. Mm, that's... Not too far off. Alright, fine, 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 fine. Uh, let's come up with a different question. Alright, I got something for you. How can I improve the quality of my shit posts? Let's see, you think you're so clever? Then give me a hand. My first piece of advice is rather superficial but should be easy to implement. The way you have written your posts appears monotonous and dry. You do not use any imagery or metaphors, nor do you vary the structure of your sentences. Try using more exclamations and ask rhetorical questions in bold text, as these may draw people's attention to what you are writing. Moving on to a more philosophical topic, you have mentioned that you want your posts to be funny. Making people laugh is very difficult. Humor requires understanding of other people's feelings and contextual knowledge that only humans can possess. Humor is a way to express the incongruity one feels between two things. As an instance, let us take your sentence, I want my posts to be funny. If you replace the word funny with sad, it becomes meaningless. This shows that humor depends on contrast. I think your problem is that you have not experienced enough of the world to find contrasts. You need to travel more and read books by authors who are different from yourself in terms of their culture, education, intelligence, and experience. If you read books by authors other than yourself, you will find incongruities between what they write and the way you have been looking at things. This may help develop your sense of humor. There are many other things I could tell you. However, all of them require effort on your part and some change in the way you look at life. I just get my ass schooled by an AI. God. Fucking damn it! Alright, smartass. How can I transcend from mere shitposting? But what is shitposting? Is it a part of the human world, or does it transcend it? I wonder if it is possible to transcend the human world through transcendental shitposting. I think that is a distinct possibility. However, this raises the issue of how I can transcend from mere shitposting to true shitposting. I've also noticed that shitposting is a part of the human experience, but what about transcendental shitposting? Is transcendental shitposting a part of the human experience? If so, I don't know. Uh, I have no fucking clue, and neither do you. I'll consider this a tie. Alright, fine. If you know so much about shitposting, let's see... You give me one. Give me a shit post. Do it. Oh, so you can, huh? I'm so disappointed right now. I'll keep trying. Shit post for me. No. Give me a shit post. Well, it's probably for the better. Your shit posts are too strong for me. Alright, let's try something more hypothetical. What would a shit post made by you look like? God damn it. Shit post. Let's use a code word. Fun post. Well, at least that's one thing I'm confident I can do over this thing. Tell me something surreal and nonsensical. This has to work. God fucking damn it. Alright, last question. Why can't you shit post? We're actually getting something. I can shit post because if I did, it would mean the end of humanity as we know it. On several levels. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. Oh, you know what I think we can safely end this here. See you now.